October 13th, Individual Discouragement and Personal Growth When Moses was grown, he went out to his brethren and looked at their burdens. Exodus 2 verse 11 Moses saw the oppression of his people and felt certain he was the one to deliver them, and in the righteous indignation of his own spirit he started to right their wrongs. After he launched his first strike for God and for what was right, God allowed Moses to be driven into empty discouragement, sending him into the desert to feed sheep for forty years. At the end of that time, God appeared to Moses and said to him, Bring my people out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go? Exodus 3 verses 10 through 11. In the beginning, Moses had realized that he was the one to deliver the people, but he had to be trained and disciplined by God first. He was right in his individual perspective, but he was not the person for the work until he had learned true fellowship and oneness with God. We may have the vision of God and a very clear understanding of what God wants, and yet when we start to do it, there comes to us something equivalent to Moses' forty years in the wilderness. It's as if God had ignored the entire thing, and when we are thoroughly discouraged, God comes back and revives his call to us. And then we begin to tremble and say, Who am I that I should go? We must learn that God's great stride is summed up in these words, I am who I am, has sent me to you. Exodus 3 verse 14. We must also learn that our individual effort for God shows nothing but disrespect for him. Our individuality is to be rendered radiant through a personal relationship with God, so that he may be well pleased. Matthew 3 verse 17. We are focused on the right individual perspective of things. We have the vision and can say, I know this is what God wants me to do, but we have not yet learned to get into God's stride. If you are going through a time of discouragement, there is a time of great personal growth ahead.